pretty darn close to new J Flight 32 BHDS just came in on trade here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Won't be my longest video ever because the story on this one's pretty short and sweet. Um, Mom and Dad bought it. They had it parked at a seasonal site, so this thing has not been towed and bounced down the road, mind you. Uh, they, they thought, oh man, the kids are going to come out. They're going to stay with us. They're going to have a great time. And then they didn't. The kids just didn't come out. So, after less than two years, Mom and Dad swapped it out for an Eagle 338 RETS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Big old couples camper. And if you're a regular follower of mine, this story sounds awful familiar, because we just had another 32BHDS recently traded in that sold almost overnight with the exact same story. It's eerily similar, as a matter of fact. It's like one of those situations where you find out twins were split up at birth, and then they both married a lady named Linda and then divorced her and married a lady named Betty later on in life, you know. Um, this is the bumper mounted grill that hooks onto the rear bumper. So this is an outside kitchen with a little side dish cooktop and a main course grill here. We've got bigger, wider, and taller entry doors to your baggage compartments on this. It does have a uh, uh, push button power awning, power tongue jack. We have uh, a Jayco's thermal package on this, which encloses the underbelly, adds extra layers of um, thermal foil insulation to the floor, the roof, and the slide outs. This has insulated slides, which very few trailers do. I'm very familiar with this trailer because we sold it when it was brand new, and I know how we tend to equip our stuff. Um, outside shower, black tank flush, just handy little utility stuff over there. Um, again, moving kind of fast because there's there's not a whole lot to know. It's a basically new trailer to use price tag. Roof ladder takes you up to the roof that is fully walkable for service reasons, though this thing's so young it's never really needed to even consider anything like that. Full outside kitchen with the taller dad's medicine cabinet or fridge, just depends on what you're using it for. Good for traditional pop or the uh, barley variety. <clears throat> anyway, um, outside kitchen area here. Big old open space, you can put a microwave, there is a TV hookup. You see even your outside doors have the nice metal struts to keep the doors open. And I like the fact that this door is very high, you can actually just walk right under it. This uh, is the bunkhouse model that does have the door directly to the bathroom, so you're not going to have to worry about tracking dirt through your whole trailer, since that's the primary reason people come in and out of the camper, and the refrigerator is the second one, so you have them both here on the outside of the trailer. Jazzed up with aluminum wheels as well, because, hey, who doesn't like a little bit of shine? Um, it comes in, I don't know, 8,300-ish pounds, something like that. And we do have a wider entry door here. So for newer half-tons, um, comfortably half-ton towable. For older half-tons, um, yeah, less, less, less comfortably half-ton towable. Um, uh, we've got a full trifold memory foam sleeper sofa here that's never been slept on a day in its life, as far as I can tell. Um, Mom and Dad were pretty much the only ones to ever sit at the dinette. If I remember right, this is called the Platinum Decor, but it's been a couple years, and they changed slightly. This was built back when um, they were still making a floating rear bench. You see how the, there's that gap there. Um, this is a, a floating rear, you could use it like an ottoman, a bench, a toy box. If you slid that rear section forward and left an empty pocket in the back after removing the table, you could actually create your own mobile pack and play. J flights are taller. This is 81 inches tall from ceiling panel to floor. Now what's interesting is the trailer itself is not actually taller than the other trailers you find on the market that are only 78 inches tall inside. So how do they get three extra inches? They actually have a lower floor. They have a lower floor, lower center of gravity, yet they still have bigger holding tanks. This has I, something silly like an 80 gallon fresh water capacity or something like that. That extra height means bigger taller showers, it means bigger cabinet spaces because we have double the cabinet space now with the two levels. I like the little LED accent light touches here. Um, Little 12 volt like um, car charger port right here. All your control panels and stuff are tucked away. This does have an 18 gallon per hour water heater as well. Um, eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer. That's something that's very hard to find in a travel trailer, especially in the used market. Even more rare in a, a wood skeleton constructed trailer versus a laminated trailer. Uh, we also have some nicer upgraded hardware here in the kitchen with the big shepherd's hook faucet and the pull out sprayer. So you can pull it out and hose down the person who's sitting on the sofa if they, you know, tell a joke you don't appreciate. <laughs> I've been sprayed a couple times. Uh, <laughs> Porcelain stool, foot flush to keep your face away from your business. And uh, remember, we do have a taller shower because it has that 81 inch interior height. So guys like me, uh, you know, we, we can easily stand in here. I'm actually kind of on my toes right now because I'm trying to keep myself out of antifreeze. This is why this right here, this was like the, one of the number one reasons why when I go camping, I have a J flight. I go camping in the no slide 26 foot bunkhouse version of a J flight because I can stand in the shower. 
And when I wake up in the morning, I'm grumpy. I, I'm my, my wife has learned, bless her heart, to just give me some time. And she does that, and, and we're very happy. But having this, you know, bashing my head against the ceiling every morning, that's something I wouldn't find fun. In a J-Flight, I don't have that problem. Right across from the bathroom, we have a huge either closet or linen cabinet. And if you peek, look at that. We've got all the original owner's manuals still in the handy halo tote that we give our customers to keep all their critical documents in one place. That is all the manuals. That thing's heavy. Mom and Dad will love the fact that they are giving their kids a sanity room. We have a... Well, not really giving the kids. Mom and Dad have a sanity room where they put the kids. <laughs> um, so this is the second slide. Now, this is a convertible cube futon. You can see that this can fold out into two individual beds, or it can merge to become like a king bed, roughly. Um, overhead bunk here does fold up easily because it's just on um, little struts. So it holds itself up. So during the day, we have a sofa mode. At night, we have bunk mode, basically. Over here, we have a big kid bunk. This bunk is 50% wider. So it is bigger uh, or better for bigger kids. Below this is the outside kitchen. Behind that wall is the outside kitchen. But Jayco brings this uh, um, whole enclosure toward you to give you an actual entertainment center. And they, they build their own ladders. They use a, a bigger ladder in this. Um, and just some great shelf space over here. There's also a little hidden DVD shelf space back there. Those, by the way, are little um, cedar balls just to, you know, give it a nice aroma, I suppose. Um, talked about the trifold sofa. Let's see. Oh, central air and heat. Um, I have to double check. I don't know if this has a 13.5 or 15k air. That might be a good question uh, when you call in. Great drawer space. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of a bunkhouse, if it has it. Shoe garage. It doesn't seem like a real big deal, but you could sleep six, eight, ten people in here. They're going to have an ugly pile of shoes by the door if you don't have something like that. And notice that not just the kids, but mom and dad also get privacy doors, not just curtains. Uh, the LED television, all factory electronics are still present and accounted for. You see that does spin around to the bedroom. Jensen DVD player uh, does everything. AM, FM, CD, plays DVDs on your TV, um, has auxiliary inputs for almost any device you want to plug into it. There are power outlets on bedside stands on both sides of the bed, so folks with CPAP machines, you are all set. And you'll even find more lighting in the uh, bedroom of a J-Flight. Um, all those little things, they just, they all add up. Even this bed has, um, you know, easy access under bed storage. You see with just one hand, you can easily lift that up. And they put a divider in there so your outside stuff doesn't mingle with your inside stuff because you don't want your sleeping bags hanging out with your sewer hose. So give us a call. 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.